Hey guys and welcome back to another one and as promised on the last video here we are with this Torjet 500 Thunderbolt SSD storage solution and on this particular video we are going to take a closer look at it but I'm also working on four other videos so that we can get a bigger picture of what we can do with a drive like this. Now those videos will include using the drive as an OS X boot drive and also as a Windows boot drive and also how to achieve that. On the OS X side of things it is pretty straightforward but on the Windows side of things I did find a few problems here and there and I just want to make sure to share them with you just in case you want to go this way and you want to have a clean installation on that side of the screen without wasting any time. But that being said, let's go for this particular video of the Starjet 500. As always, hope that you enjoy it and I'll see you in a few seconds. So here we are with the Transcend Starjet 500 256GB SSD version and going through our quick unboxing as usual, once we peel that plastic off and open the package we will find the Starjet at the top with a really nice premium look and feel, we will also find the usual brochures, one half a meter Thunderbolt cable, 145cm USB 3.0 cable and a black protective bag that we can use for transportation. Now at the rear we will have the option to connect either Thunderbolt or USB 3.0 and at the bottom we will find four really nice rubber feet. The whole casing is made of a high quality brushed aluminium and it feels really sturdy. On the past I did try other external solutions but as far as quality goes this is the one that impressed me the most. And when we place it near a Mac then it really shines as we can see on screen. And moving along to the speed test on USB 3.0 we are getting 293 megabytes on writes and 432 megabytes on reads. While on Thunderbolt we are getting roughly 292 megabytes on writes and 383 megabytes on reads. And here I was really expecting that the Thunderbolt speeds would be faster than the USB 3.0 but unfortunately that didn't happen. Nonetheless, so that you can have a better idea on the Thunderbolt connection to transfer a file of 1.1 gigabyte to the Starjet will take roughly 4 seconds and transfer back from the storage to the laptop will take roughly three seconds which honestly on my opinion is great. And before we move on, one of the tests that I made was running as a boot drive for OS X and for those of you that care about Dream support, as you can see on screen it's totally supported. The Starjet also comes with two softwares, one of which is the Elite Data Management that will allow us to create backup tasks that can be scheduled daily, weekly or on a monthly basis. And also options as encryption, backup restores, bookmark syncs and cloud synchronization. And the second software is Recover X that will allow us to recover deleted files and I did give it a shot deleting files from a USB drive and it actually got all the files back including a few older ones which was actually really nice. And before we move on to the conclusion, just a small teaser on the next videos that I'm going to share that will include booting OS X and Windows 8 and 10 from the Starjet 500 on the iMac and also on the Retina MacBook Pro. But I will share with you guys all my test results really soon. So in conclusion guys, things that I did like the most were the excellent build quality of the Starjet 500, the really nice performance of it, it has Dream support enabled and it's able to run Windows 8 and 10 as a boot drive. And finally, as as far as I could search, it's the cheapest solution for a Thunderbolt SSD drive. On the other hand, things that I did like the less, although it's nothing major, I was expecting higher speeds on Thunderbolt connection or at least the same as the USB 3.0. And that is it regarding this Starjet 500 overview, hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so, don't forget that usual thumbs up over there. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you on the next one.